or not on, on ladder in in cartridge rather than on showdown because you can actually timer stall on cartridge which makes them so much better and we see a team that genuinely hates zygarde one team that really really doesn't like the zygarde um I think I go Venugard immediately and Finny in the back. And I actually don't think I bring my Torkoal because they have no reason not to bring their... <laughs> they have no reason not to bring their Groudon. And I get more value out of Zacian anyways, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, Kelly Ice obviously likes to play against Zygarde. That's why I, that's why I added the Venucool mode to this team. Um, at the very least, Venusaur allows me to have a, a soft counter to Calyrex. Uh, clearly, I don't... Like, if, if we're under Trick Room, I can, like, click Eruption and threaten it, right? Um, or I can Dynamax it and get rid of their Dynamax because I believe you always win the 1v1 with 252 HP and 100 defense. Yeah, I'm lucky no one's using Ice Rex yet. Even though I don't intend to stall, there will still be a TO game. That's Zygarde. Yep. Grimmsnarl P2. Uh, I think I'm fine with that, actually. Dang, I kind of wish I brought my guy now. You know what? Um, I don't die to an Ice Beam here. Like, there's no chance I die to an Ice Beam. So I'm going to coil. I think they'd rather set up the Trick Room. I'm going to coil, and I'm going to get in my Tapu Fini. They definitely want to set up the Trick Room, and if I coil here and I get my, my thing off, like, I always love this. You know, unless I get crit. <laughs> they could also double into me. Like, an Ice Beam into a Spirit Break could do a considerable amount of damage. Uh, but my coil should go before the Spirit Break, so I should live it. And I don't believe they had an Intimidator on their team, which is something to note. They go for the Light Screen, which makes sense. They want to make sure they can get off the second attack, or the second move, because I could Sludge Bomb into them to one-shot. I'm average Timer Stall Enjoyer. <laughs> Let's see if they Ice Beam or Trick Room. They go for the Trick Room, which is actually really great for me. That is really, really great for me. Um, I could Quake here. But I don't quite want to do that yet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to coil one more time and heal pulse. Uh, because what that'll do is... I should take the double up from the Grim Snarl and the Porygon too. And they're probably going to reflect anyways. I don't want to Dynamax until the ho -Oh hits the field. Because it's 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 very much important that I knock it down. Um, something that's really important when you're playing Zygarde is if there's like a Charizard or a ho -Oh for some reason... Uh, you have to knock it down. Thunderous is probably the most important example. If you thousand arrows it and it hits the floor, well, next thing you know, uh, Zygarde's going to get low, and then you can max quake it. And yeah, the Ice Beam should go before, so they're just going to reflect. I should 100% eat this unless they crit. Oh, I did not just eat that. I, like, had seconds. There's so many joke. There's so many layers to this joke, I'm impressed. Order Punk, if you've ever, like, been to my streams, you'll know that that's a very common thing. I will say a joke and say it just so bluntly and flatly that it will pass by certain people's, like, perceptions. Like, they'll just miss it. They'll, they'll just miss the joke outright. And I think that's my favorite thing to do. It's just really, really dumb. <laughs> Yeah, I get a lot of free coils off, and even the crit Ice Beam doesn't KO me. So I can just do this forever. All I have to do is make sure I get my heal pulses off at the right times, and uh, cycle my Finny into definitely avoid freezes instead of risking it. I'll come by more often than I don't watch streams, uh, Twitch streams much anymore. Hey, I mean, I feel you. I don't watch many Twitch streams. I'll just kind of like jump into random ones when I'm bored. Um, but like, I don't like consistently watch any streamers. I think the closest I'll get to consistently watching a streamer is I'll like hop into Joe's channel for like 20 minutes after my stream and just hang out. I usually do homework around that time. And he's letting me get off another coil here. And uh, he's not going to enjoy this. 
Yeah, no, I, I still don't need to max, is the thing. I'm going to coil again, because I'm pretty certain he's just going to want to go for a uh, sword stance here. Uh, but I might actually switch out my Finny to threaten him with Venusaur. Do I do that? I don't think I do that yet. Let me check the Trick Room turns. There's two turns of Trick Room, yeah. I'm going to coil again. And I'm actually going to Muddy Water. Because I don't need to heal it all this turn. And getting an Accuracy drop could be huge. Or at the very least, a little bit of damage. Muddy Water is just like a very neutral play, you know? Dude, if he doesn't max Quake this Finny, he's going to regret it. I think even if he does max Quake, I just eat that. Unless he's like Life Orb, then then like maybe not, because I'm super physically defensive on my Finny. So he's got to consider that, you know? There's the Spirit Break. Finny? I, I might live this. I, I truly might live this. Unless he's weakness policy, in which case, no, I just set that off. He's not. He's not, right? He's not. He's not. Okay, good. Thousand arrow. Yeah, thousand arrows not only hits flying types, but it also cancels out bounce and stuff. All right. Oh, Finny, you absolute monster, dude. You freaking monster. You know, I don't even care anymore. I can coil again. I can coil it. Dude, I don't even think I Dynamax my freaking Zygarde in this game. I might Dynamax my... I I, I, I might Dynamax my Venusaur. Uh, so I'm going to coil, like, a fifth time. And I'm going to get a Venusaur here, because if I live, he's going to hate that. <laughs> Dude, I, I think I actually, if I survive this max quake, I don't need to because I'd rather have the, the, the Zation in the back, right? But if I survive this max quake on my on my Venusaur, he's not going to enjoy the outcome, like at all. He's letting me set up way too much. Yeah, so if you guys weren't here for the other stream... Um, there's something that I did say, uh, and that was, as a content creator for the past five or six years, I have focused mainly on making videos first and getting super, super good at the game second. Like, I hardly practice outside of creating content. Like, if I'm streaming or if I'm recording a video, that's, like, the maximum practice I get. So, what I've opted to do uh, for the 2022 season... Yeah, I'm going to lose my Venusaur here. I don't really care, though. What I've opted to do for the, uh, for the 2022 season is I'm going to get really 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 good with one particular archetype and just enter that in every single tournament but on the side make videos with other teams uh and this is like the first time i've actually decided to do that like really practice vgc but it might i might be putting too much on my plate uh because i'm also in my last turn of college or last turn my last semester of college and i really want to get straight a's to make it easier to get like a job and stuff uh so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go right into my Zation. And I am going to Dynamax my Zygarde, obviously. Um, I'm going to go for a Substitute. And I'm going to Max Steel Spike this... Uh, I'm going to Max Steel Spike this um, Grim Snarl. Because something you might notice is he he's let my Zygarde set up so much that this is the last turn the Reflect's up. And if I KO him with this Max Steel Spike, which let me just show you something really quick. Let me just show you something really quick. I don't care if he's behind a Reflect. I'm at plus five then he's not going to like this. Um, and yeah, unless he's running like... I guess... I guess Protect's optimal here in case he Thunder Waves. I guess that's what I do. I could. I wanted to substitute to just completely negate a lot of damage. Because um, I think I take more than 25% if I just Protect here. But yeah. Red VGC, thanks for hosting the tour. Hey, no problem. But does that make sense to people? Like, if you haven't noticed, like, I don't enter tournaments. Like, this is going to be my first tournament since, like, Players' Cup 3. Like, this upcoming VR tournament. It's the first one I've entered since Players' Cup 3. And yes, okay, they are running Scary Face, so it's a good thing I did that. 
And this probably just KOs. Nice. Okay. Yeah, they lose. <laughs> they lose. They let me set up way too much. They let me set up way too much. I got away with so much in this game. And now I take less than 25. Yeah. Okay. They have to, like, reconcile with the fact that there's a plus 5 Zygarde in the field. And it hasn't even gotten its full form yet. I just like that there's little to no wacky stuff you can do here. Uh, what do you mean? Like, with Zygarde or, like, just in this match? Base Kyurem or Reshiram? I think Base Kyurem's objectively worse than Reshiram. Reshiram's at least a whole Pokemon. Kyurem's, like, not done yet. Like, they haven't finished him. Alright, Porygon 2 doesn't run Protect, so we're just going to annihilate it. Pokemon Cast, thanks for the follow. There's the ho -Oh. I suppose that's fine, because... I really just, you know, I just Thousand Arrows for the rest of this game. And I think I, I'm pretty sure I actually take the, the be that not the Behemoth, the Precipice Blades at plus one defense. Because um, I am running a pretty bulky, a pretty bulky boy. B-Blades. Yeah, I eat that up like Reese's Puffs. Um, I suppose there's no reason not to just double the Groudon. Actually, I should max Quake the Groudon and protect here. Because he can burn me, but I don't think he can win. Because I can just knock him down and stuff, you know? No wacky stuff for Series 12? No, there's tons of wacky stuff you can do in Series 12. Like, more so than other series. Probably an absurd amount, in fact. I think that um, when I when I build teams for Pokemon, I don't know if I have a reputation for making wacky teams. I think I have a reputation for making novel teams, if that makes sense. Like, I make something that someone hasn't made before, but you can see where I'm going with it. Like, it, it makes sense in a way. There are some teams where I go a little bit too far. Um, and that's like a thing that I'm trying to... Why are you special ho -Oh? So I don't do that, right? Like, I don't run special ho -Oh. I think... I, I definitely think you want Sacred Fire on ho -Oh. I'm gonna say that right now. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't run, like, special ho -Oh or anything, but, like, I, I try to take an existing core and add something to it, or just do something, like, different with it that might push it over the top. And I don't always succeed, you know, sometimes I fail, uh, but that's that's like just part of playing the game in my opinion, like you just have to take those as they come. I think the I think the Thousand Arrows KOs the hoe here, and I always Behemoth Blade the Porygon, because again, they don't run Protect, and if he switches into the Groudon, Groudon just dies this turn. Absol Sun, if there's one team I don't want you guys to remember, it's Absol Sun. That is like the only one I genuinely don't want anyone to remember. All the other ones, go ahead. <laughs> but Absol Sun stays, like, in the chat. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> okay, we got three minutes left. I might actually lose to timer. Losing the timer is legit here. Unless I take the P2, in which case I think I win. Okay. Yeah, this uh, this thousand arrow should deal quite a bit. As they air, if they flinch me, I swear, if I lose off a flinch, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I was gonna say if they flinch me right here, retirement, just retirement right off the bat. I wish Pangoro was Worshifu. <laughs> yeah. No, we all wish we all wish Pangoro was better. Two minutes left until the battle ends. Um, I believe my play here is going to be to double protect every single time. Because optimal plays by the Zygarde player, you timer stall in the situation. 
Optimal play is in the timer stall situation. You just do it. Because there are two minutes left. And I have a lot of my time left, so I can't afford to do this. Three, two, click the move. Okay, one. Yeah, okay, they forfeit. Nice. I think they recognize that. Sweet. Okay, good game, yucks. I don't know how I feel about the special, um, the special ho, unless it's like weakness policy, maybe, maybe it'll work, but I think you definitely want sacred hey, gym fire. goals 2022. Yeah, I've been pretty consistent. Um, remind me after this battle to tell you about my gym goals. Just remind me. Um, but yeah, I think this is Tanner mask from Twitter. Uh, tar, <laughs> what in tar nation? Thank you for the follow. Uh, so this is Kyogre. Zacian. Just like standard Kyogre Zacian too. Uh, Zygarde does pretty good into this, truly. Um, Maybe I leave the Venu out. I mean, Venu... Venu's iffy, right? Is it though? Mm. Maybe I get more out of like a Leki. Vinny. Yeah, I think I do that. I think I do that, yeah. We'll do that. Alright. <sighs> Torn Ogre gross, but instead of Bidzation, instead of gross? Will Zygarde Groudon work? Yeah, no. Zygarde Groudon is just a hard loss versus Calyrex. Um, and it's it's only kind of iffy versus opposing Zacian. I think if you pair Zygarde with anything, it kind of has to be a Steel-type. Because Steel-type covers so many weaknesses for it. It covers, like, opposing Dragon, it can switch in on Dragons. Um, ice, it just annihilates Ice. Uh, and what else was it? Uh, fairy. Steel beats fairy, so you definitely want like a steel type restricted. Tornadus Kyogre. Tornadus Kyogre. So, um, I am focus sash on my Aleki. So I could volt switch here. I think I'm actually just going to protect and try to Volt Switch right here on the Kyogre. Actually, wait. I have a really, really good idea. Call me crazy. Call me crazy, but I think this is what I'm going to... I think this is what I want to do. Call me crazy. But I think this is what I'm going to do. Hear me out, guys. Okay, that's what I thought. He's gonna max, um, he's gonna max friggin' Hailstorm. And I think he's gonna taunt. I think he's gonna taunt here. What this lets me do is get in my Finny and also get like a massive amount of damage versus the Kyogre. Because I don't die here. Like, Zygarde never dies beyond like a crit or like a life orb for some reason. Especially if he doesn't Tailwind, which he might not, if he's Dynamaxing. Alright, he does Tailwind, that's fine. I should eat this by virtue of I am a Dynamax Zygarde. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. So here I'm going to get a special defense boost and I'm going to get my full form and I'm going to get my Finny in while also dealing significant amount of damage to the Kyogre. Okay. And I keep my Sash and my Aleki, which is why I really, really wanted to switch there. 
And now I just quake the I, I just quake the Kyogre again because it doesn't kill me ever. Nice. So now that Kyogre is going to be doing approximately half the amount of damage it did last turn, but percentage-wise, it's going to be doing a it's going to be doing 25% of the damage it did last turn because I'm now going to get my double HP form. And that hail damage, that's phenomenal. I sense the presence of money? Yeah, I do. This animation looks so cool when he's Dynamaxed. Okay, cool. Uh, something to note is he obviously can still go for a taunt on my Finny. I want to hope that he doesn't. I really want to hope that he doesn't, because that's going to be very annoying. I am just going to go for it. Because even if he does go for a taunt on my Finny, I still just get like a special defense boost. And he just Icy wins and Zygarde avoids. So I'm going to get all of my health back here. I am literally going to get like all of my health back. Yeah, Minty Fresh, dude. Watch him crit me. Actually, I think I might live the crit. Because Zygarde. Dude. Dude, it bounced off. Zygarde didn't even feel that. I was going to say, there's a chance he might not have um, Taunt if he's running like Rain Dance or uh, some other tech move. And the Icy Wind just confirms he doesn't have Taunt. Taunt is getting less and less common on, on Tornadus as they get bulkier. And I think here, since the Kyogre always goes down to a Steel Spike from this range... Plus hail, of course. Um, it's in my best interest to steel spike in anticipation of the uh, of the, uh, the, uh, the 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 guy of the boy right there, the uh, Zacian coming in. So I'm gonna heal pulse and I'm gonna steel spike. Oh no, not not muddy water. Heal pulse. That was like when semi-perfect... Did that crit my Zygarde? No. Uh, that was like when semi-perfect Cell tried punching Vegeta. True. He's fishing for crits. If he doesn't get this crit, he's probably not going to win. Oh, that just bounced off again. I am sorry, little one. Steel Spike. And now I have a defense boost on my Finny, too. So, yeah. And the Hail will finish the job there. And if not, um, honestly, even better. Because then I just get another heal pulse off before the, the Zacian comes in. Yep, there it goes. What if Zacian didn't come to the Smash? That'd be absurd. Honestly, this turn, I think I just Muddy Water uh, for damage. Because the... How do I say it? The... Um, I don't know why I can't think of the word. The heal pulse wouldn't be helpful in this situation. I'd rather just like get rid of what's on the screen. Because I'm probably just going to go down at the end of the turn anyways. Yeah, maybe not. Versace, thank you for the follow. You know what You know what the difference between me and other Zygarde players is? The V8. See, I'm using my full brain because I'm drinking V8. Not sponsored, but I'd love to be sponsored. I think V8 makes a great product. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think a thousand arrows in muddy water here. How many turns of hail is left? Two turns of hail. Um... Probably optimal just to attack. Like, I could protect, but if I protect here, it just gets less likely that I live a Behemoth Blade. Play rough. I'm living that. I'm living that. I'm, li I'm not living that. Okay, yeah. 
Critical hit. That probably explains why I didn't live that. Icy wind. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say the behemoth. Uh, the that 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 explains why I didn't live that hit. But I do have the boost on my Finny here. The defense boost is gonna be very helpful. I don't miss. Hopefully, I can make them more likely to miss here. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is. I think my Aleki's one of my most important Pokemon I can have right now. Inhale goes away next turn, so I should be able to just protect. <laughs> That's like an inside joke. Mercury's saying like, me, me, when, me. That's a big inside joke at this point. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna protect here. And... I'm gonna Muddy Water. I should live like any double up he goes for. Station protects. I'm fine with that. Honestly, I think my priority is going to be thunderbolting the station. Because I keep my sash. Can I get an accuracy drop? That'd be baller. Alright, cool. Actually, what's the last Pokemon? It's gonna matter. It's definitely gonna matter. Misty Terrain's now gone. Um. Yeah, yeah, I keep my Zacian around. I'm gonna try to Electro Web. Because that increases my chances of winning if they don't double up on me here. I'm going to Muddy Water. Play rough. Let's see if you doubled the Aleki. Don't double the Aleki. I would love that if you didn't. Yeah, they doubled the Aleki. Okay, not looking amazing. Not looking amazing, but still looking doable. If I can get an accuracy drop, this is doable. Accuracy drop? Right here. Boom. Called it. And now my opponent's tilted because he's thinking, oh, what if I, what if, what if you, when, you, you, when, what, you? <laughs> that's that's what's going through his mind. Here, Reggie. Me, you, when, me, you, when I, um, you. Uh, okay. I have a special defense boost in my Finny. I'm going to put that out there. I always double protect here. I'm going to put that out there. I have a special defense boost in my Finny. Uh, and I have to double this Regieleki every single time, unfortunately. I'm going to Behemoth Blade and Muddy Water the uh, the Regieleki. I could also Moonblast, um, but I want the damage on the Zacian as well, because it could be huge for winning. He's running Wild Charge. Okay. I can see where his intentions lie. He's Life Orb. I need to Moonblast this Regieleki. I see where his intentions are. He's Life Orb. I also really need this to KO. He miss or he didn't miss, so that kind of sucks. I really hope this. I'm bold. This Moonblast probably doesn't KO. Come on! No! <laughs> no! I lose. I lose. Um, dang it. Okay. Actually, there's there's a chance. Maybe I can take a transistor boosted life orb wild charge at plus one defense. Maybe. With Tapu Fini, anything's possible, to be honest. And he could also miss. 
Keep that in mind. I'm coping at the moment, if you didn't notice. Okay. Muddy water. Basically, I need to live one and have him miss the other, and that's very unlikely, because this is a freaking life orb red Yeah, okay. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> Dang it, okay. I think what truly lost me that was the crit with the play rough, because I think my Zygarde was guaranteed to live that. I'm like 99% sure I was guaranteed to live that if they didn't crit the play rough, but that's just how it is. That's just how it is. My gym goals? Okay, yeah. So my gym goals this year um, are mainly just to lose the weight that I put on the past couple of years. I have this Garfield calendar, right? And this Garfield calendar has been doing wonders for keeping me on track. So basically, Garfield hates Mondays, right? Well, so do I, because um, it's the start of my, of my, of my school week. Um, but what I have here is I, I'm trying to stay on track for a hundred days in a row. And as you can see, I have marked off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and today is two, oh, eight. And today is Tuesday, um, which would be day nine. And I haven't cheated on my diet today, so. Uh, basically, I am one fourteenth of the way done because uh, 100 days is approximately 14 weeks. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is that is uh, my gym goal. I have been lifting a lot of weights. Um, staying on track means not cheating on my diet and doing an hour on my treadmill every day. And treadmill over there, and. Um, Consistently doing my my split of chest and arms on Monday, uh, back and shoulders on uh, Tuesday, legs and abs on Wednesday, um, repeating that from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then Sunday I do yoga and still do my my hour of cardio. So every day I do an hour of cardio in the morning, um, along with all that. So yeah. Uh, you know, I don't look too strong from this angle, but I actually have a decent size. I think I think I have decent sized arms at the moment. Obviously, they're going to get smaller as I lose weight, uh, but that's just how it is. Kind of know? an interesting little squad here. Let me go here. Kind of an interesting little squad. Uh, we see... Dang, they have a lot of anti-Zygarde stuff. Uh, Whimsicott can obviously run like Moonblast, which is very annoying. Ice Beam on the Kyogre is kind of annoying. I think I want to go Regieleki Zygarde again, because that seems to do very well into Kyogre. It pressures them in a way where they can't really afford to ignore it. And I think it brings Asian. Yeah. Actually, maybe I don't. Maybe I actually... I think I get a lot more out of doing this now that I think about it. Um, I don't bring Regieleki. Regieleki is only good for Torn Ogre. I think I go Zygarde, Venusaur, Torkoal, and Zacian. And I leave the Finny at home. I don't really need the Finny. Because Whimsicott definitely doesn't run Rain Dance is the thing. Tor like Torn Ogre, you, you can see Rain Dance, and that's like annoying. Zygarde, or uh, the Whimsicott doesn't do that. Thunder does double damage when you're in the sky. I never knew that. That is something I did not know. And that is very cool. Okay, so this is kind of annoying. Um, I think he's just going to want to Ice Beam me. Truth be told. I'm going to go into my Torkoal. Uh, he might Dynamax his Latios, but I don't really care if he does as long as I get a Vine Lash off. Because I think that's all I need. Yeah, Latios could be really bad for me in this game. I was kind of hoping it just wouldn't show up. <laughs> but I think here, um, they may just want to KO my Zygarde because they know how annoying it can be. Chaos, thanks for the follow. Getting a lot of followers tonight. They withdraw the Kyogre, that's fine. Venusaur. Um, I still get Weather Ball shenanigans, so that could be fine as long as I'm faster. What kind of microphone is that? This is the Elgato Wave 3. Good call on their part. That was a very good call by them. 
Okay, they didn't Dynamax. That's great. I think they just Ice Beam. It's fancy and I like it. Hey, thank you. I picked it up over the summer last year. Actually, no, I think I picked it up in spring of last year. So I've had it like a little over eight months and it's pretty good. I enjoy it. Oh, they did Dynamax. Um, if I believe in myself, I live this? Question mark? If I like, <laughs> if, if I wish with all my heart and click my heels together, my Venusaur will take whatever move they go for? Or maybe they just worm winded and that's kind of fun. Okay, they max flared. That's not as fun. That's a weather ball. Yeah, that yeah, that's that's a weather ball. That, that's I'm just gonna be straight. That that's a weather ball. Okay, check this out. Yawn. Max guard. I didn't bring my finny, so my Venus. <laughs> So, I might be going to sleep. Uh, there's a lot going on here. If I yawn this Latios, this game gets a little bit easier for me. What's nice is they're burning their Dynamax early. That's, that's like the nice thing here. What's not so nice is because I didn't bring Finny and I wasted my Dynamax, I can't special defense boost on my Zygarde. Earth Power, I think I tank that. Okay, I do. Max Flare. Max Worm went, oh, they called me out. They called me out bad. Okay, uh, not the end of the world. Definitely not good. Not the end of the world, though. Latios is base 110, so I'm faster than it. I always get in my, my Zacian here. Um, and if I'm faster than there than their Pokemon, I should come out on top. Also, I'm just super special defensive. I, that's something I keep forgetting. I'm very special defensive. So I can go for the Behemoth Blade on the Latios. And I go for the Max Strike on the Venusaur. Earth Power tells me they probably don't have Sleep Powder, so I can take this hit. We'll let the Galar Birds theme be so good. True. This this theme goes hard. Zacian. Okay, so this is still good damage versus Zacian. And if he Earth Powers me, he's not going to have a good time. Because I don't think he's Scarf Ogre. And I am faster, so that, that thing's gone unless it's Sash. Actually, no, even if it is Sash, it's gone. <laughs> Look at that Latios smirk. Yeah, look at him. Laughing at me. Thinking he's better than me. I hate you, Latios. Alright, this is half. I'm definitely slower, uh, because I'm running like a bulky Zacian. <gasps> Yo, I forgot! Vine Lash Chip! GG! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just such a funny thing to say. Yo, I forgot about the Vine Lash Chip. GG, bro. I probably lose actually. If if that wasn't the last turn of Vine Lash, um, I lose, which I think it probably was. Let's see. Pretty sure it was. No, it's not. Okay, cool. <laughs> Protect. Protect. What's my last Pokemon again? Regieleki. Zygarde. Oh, yo. Yo? Gaming? Profusely? Okay, not great. Not great. Um. But, still winnable. Still winnable. Water Spout. Uh, he might be Scarf. He might be Scarf. 
That helps, admittedly. I let my Venu go down here. And I attempt to Leaf Storm fully expecting to get, like, destroyed. Let's see if it's not Scarf. <gasps> Yo? Yo? Is it Scarf, though? Yeah, 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 it's Scarf, it's Scarf, it's Scarf, okay. <laughs> I, I kind of figured that by the by the fact that it was it was water spouting there, when, like, Origin Pulse probably was better. But I think that lets my guy live. I think that actually lets my guy live, and now I have a fighting chance. Um... I hate ally switch. I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. I hate ally switch. But I don't think he ally switches this turn. I really don't. A thousand arrows. Don't ally switch. Just, just let the Latios exist. I think I just barely take this hit. Like, like, just, just barely. He withdraws the Kyogre. He withdraws the Kyogre. I think we got this. I think we got this. I'm faster. Please, just KO. I'm pretty sure that KOs. I'm still at plus one and I'm adamant. Yes! Alright, we won that. Critical hit. Don't care. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Zygarde, you monster. Crazy. Yeah, uh, he can't win this anymore. Because he has to lock into Ice Beam or Urgent Pulse and neither one KOs. And it's optimal for me to double protect here because I get to stall out Rain. And that makes it me even likelier to win. Because if he locks Origin Pulse, I always tank it. And yeah, he could also miss. That's saying to know. How many turns of rain left? This is the last turn of rain, so unless he like completely crit annihilates me, I should win this. Uh, I'm going to Behemoth Blade. Because his actually 15% chance to miss. Uh, I should always lock protect, actually. Because the 15% chance to miss is lower than my 30% chance to double protect. And I thousand arrows here. I fail. That's fine. Hey, we get it, though. Nice. And yeah, that's that would never KO my Zygarde, even with the rain up. Nice. And yeah, um, a, a crit, a crit origin pulse is the same as a rain boosted origin pulse here, so I just win. Oh, my sister just called me. Alright. Nice.